What's up, my folks? I hope everyone is doing good and had a good weekend. I've been cleaning up, doing the ring of death around everything, killing rattlesnakes on the rattlesnake hunt around here. Been, I went there, I think I got everybody's email. If I didn't hit you, get me back now. Don't be shy. And uh, to the guy that called me about them, uh, the Puma dogs, um, you can call me back, but I don't have much experience with them. I don't even have no Puma dogs. I got a dog with about a quarter Puma in it. <laughs> That's all. But uh, I'm not the one with any experience on that stuff. This little bitch is looking good. She is, is really uh, snapping too on on point type. I'm really liking this bitch now. She's starting to come into that, you know, little over a year mark, you know. Acts good. I like that. I might repeat this breeding. I'm seriously thinking about making this breeding again. She's off of Rusty and then my Brindle bitch. She's smart, man. She knows she can't get this red bitch. The red bitch knows they can't. They get to hell, raising hell with each other. She'll turn around and kick dirt on her. <laughs> she go home and kick dirt on her because she can't get her. It's funny. I got my red bitch bred back to... Uh, She's bred. She's, we got them bred. What's she doing, girl? We got them bred back to Buster. So, that happening. What's she doing? I put these two in the big pen. A 5x10 wasn't enough for both of them. They're taking a little longer to, to chain break up and collar break. They're like a little bit, uh, little bit spunky. They would be on the in that special egg class probably. <laughs> the, hell I can't say nothing better than them ones off of uh them double buster pups. They go buck ass crazy man. They uh, unbelievable shit. So taking my time with them I ain't gonna break their necks, you know. But they're doing okay I guess. They they damn sure got spunk. <laughs> what you doing boy? What you doing big Dan? Oh big Dan. What's up ring neck? What you doing ring neck? But uh, I'm really liking them pups. You know, people are asking me to do a yard video too. Like, that's what I do. I mean, as far as like how they're bred, you know, like she's off a of rusty back to my brindle bitch. That bitch is off the uh, red pirate and uh, Hollingsworth bull stuff. You know, these are uh, they're dynamite, kind of like a red pirate dynamite cross there. But uh. You know, that's basically what they're bred like. You know, they're all bred. I don't shit. I ain't gonna put pedigrees up. I mean, everybody does that. I mean, don't do no good. I mean, fuck all the people do is talk shit about people's pedigrees. You know what I mean? I can pick apart damn near anybody's pedigrees. <clears throat> and there's so many rumors in the dog's pedigrees don't mean shit. Like titles. You know, people are asking about titles. Man, I'll tell you something. Unless it was done right, them titles don't mean shit either. I've seen a lot of funky flunk shit and titling dogs, but uh, that brindle bitch is off of her. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that little bitch out there. See what I'm saying? This this dog can produce a phenomenal d bulldog, phenomenal bulldog. It's been my experience in dogs that are, and and these dogs when they're when you get them built with the long legs like that, long body and stuff, you can get some phenomenal pups off of them. But uh, and she happens to be a good mama. She's a good dog herself. I mean, she's a good dog. She's a little aggressive. I mean, she is aggressive to strangers, but none of her puppies don't have that trait. And everyone's loving them pups off that stuff. I love mine. I had a pair, and I ended up giving the giving my buddy's son the male, and they like him a lot too. But uh, yeah, I, um, she produced a phenomenal dog. I think I'm gonna take her back to Rusty. And what that would be would be uh, the pup would be off of uh, it would be kind of like double bred on that that stuff that rusty is back with a quarter out of uh buster so that's how this, that little bitch up there's bred this bitch right here she's bred too i'm hoping i'm hoping back to my old bullet dog which is tank's brother um and uh she is uh she's a heavy gains dog gains bred dog she's off of uh his bug eye stuff pretty much about a third red dog and the rest bug eye blood so that's what she is. Red back to my um my um old bullet dog. And uh he's off of the bug eye stuff back to the dynamite stuff. Pretty much. Dynamite Negarino stuff. 
Um, this bitch right here, she's <laughs> she's my little crazy dog. She isn't. <laughs> this little bitch is crazy. I'm telling you, I like this dog. She's got a great personality. She's batshit crazy. She's hard to handle. She's she's loud. <laughs> she's rough. She's you know you can't keep nothing around her. But uh, she's off of that. Uh, she's off some macho book. Uh, you know, bolio stuff back to the dynamite. Outlaw Nigarino Cross. She's pretty neat little dog though. There were there's some cool dogs. Of course that's Tank. He's just on a chain right now because he, he ain't working today. And I'm trying to let him get a little rest, but I can see he's been digging like a motherfucker again. God, you're all nasty. But you know, that's off of Buster and Rita, which is Rusty's sister. So I mean, they're probably all in in the yard, pretty much, in my in my circle, bread with with my buddies and stuff. It ain't nothing, really. I ain't going out and spending stud fees and shit because I don't have to. I would. I thought about it. There's a few dogs I've thought about breeding to. That's some more of that macho buck, um, bolio, dynamite stuff, and he's a a dynamite um outlaw Negrino dog. He's he produced a good dog. He produced a real nice dog. Um, real happy way he's producing. And I, he, I got him looking really good. He's he's as fresh as a daisy right now. I think I'll get a lot of I'm going to kind of line him up and breed him. He's, for his age, he's in good shape. Um, but, yep, he's a, he, that's what he is. He's double red dynamite stuff on top. And of course, that is a little little pup still, a little prospect. He's, uh, he's off the uh, Puma. Stuff back to the Hollingsworth bull with a little bit of chemo. That's how he's bred. And then we've got Rita, which is uh that's Rusty's sister, and she's uh same thing as Rusty, you know, dynamite, outlaw Negrino. Then we got him, which is my buddy boy. He's uh he's pretty much uh you know like the red pirate. Islandsworth bull stuff a little bit of out in him. He's a he's a pretty good dog. That stuff crosses nice. You know, people are asking about the snooty stuff, okay? What I don't know anything about it really that much. Not not Miss Mims, you know, that's me about that and all. I don't know nothing about it. Um if you could the guys want me to do something on Miss Mims and if you know her and can do it uh, uh interview with her. I mean, I'd be glad to share it or whatever if you got, but uh, as far as me, it's the snooty dogs, I look at the snooty kind of like the old turtle buster dogs. You know, it's a great, it's a great foundation blood to work with. You know what I mean? It's good, solid dogs. You know, most of the time you get some good, if it's good snooty blood, you get some good, solid, you know, a good baseline, like a good red boy, like a good baseline dog, you know, you just use it for what it is. I mean, I don't say breeds pure snooty or nothing, but quarter snooty in there ain't gonna hurt a damn thing <laughs> you know what i'm saying is I, i've seen it actually help i like the snooties uh snooty boils dogs i've seen some good snooty boils dogs i'm telling you but uh you know it's i've seen some really good you know snooty crosses you know but uh as far as me being an expert no man i had the i the, i first got snooty dogs the snooty shit that i first got was um from old paul mcdaniel i was already up in georgia in dreamland and uh and uh i got in touch i don't remember how i remember got in touch with him but uh i got in touch with him he said they were, they were ro his wife was real sick at the time and they were fucking robbing him blind he said stealing puppies and he had some put back off some of his old his snooty stuff and he gave me a great deal on some and i ended up with them dogs and they ended up being pretty nice you know they were real real nice dogs they were, but they were crossed you know they're half that but that's what really turned me on to the snooty. And then I seen a lot of the good snooty boils crosses back then, you know. I, I did like them. But, and then, you know, got a little bit of snooty in our stuff now. I ain't nothing wrong with it. But uh, as far as me breeding snooty dogs, no, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't have no snooty dogs. But uh, anyway, I just want to drop a little video. People were asking, wanting to see how the dogs were bred and all. I mean, I got a bunch more in the house. I got my puppies. I just go. Uh, my little pups off Buster are running around in there, and the, well, they're in the crate right now. But I'm giving them their time inside, a couple of hours inside in the evening. But you know, I got a few more. But that's it. That's about all I, I'll be able to handle. I won't get too many more dogs than that. You know what I'm saying? Keep it about this level. I can't. It's too hard to handle them anymore. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
but I don't need no more than what I got. I think I got a, a good enough baseline, a good enough solid dogs, and uh, if, you know, everything goes well, people are asking about the hunting club, if everything goes well with that, you know, um, I might need four more people because one of the guys has been in the hospital, and I know he's going to have a hard time. He ain't going to be able to come up with the dues and all, so, you know, uh, they'll probably open four spots, but we'll know June, June 1st whether uh the lease will come open 100 percent. if it does i'll take a video of the land we'll go back in there and i'll ride it and do a long ass video and show some of the spots in there and and we can go from there but uh you know if all that goes well we'll be able to really work these dogs and and uh see what what's what would separate the wheat from the shea you know because you know you gotta understand the same same concept a breeding in the old days is the same concept of breeding game dogs for hot hunting you know we're not running with um you can train your dogs probably to run like run with a pack. I mean, I I got a, I think I got three guys that have gotten bitches from me, and they'll work good with the other dogs. But um, they've all been bitch dogs that they've tried it with. But we just ride in the truck. You know what I'm saying? I want to make it easy. I ain't running around the woods. What's she doing, Dirty Face? Of course, Dirty Face. She's been inside a week. I just put her back out here to let Clubber and uh, Crook in. But uh, she's a Talk about some high ability little puppy. That dog can runs on the walls like she's surfing, man. She is wide ass open crazy. I ain't never, <laughs> I'm telling you. But uh, you know, it, it'll be fun to get them all all working with a bunch of different people. But with four more will pretty much be all we'll need. You done got all in the shit. But yeah, I think I'm and they're asking if I was gonna breed this bitch. If I was planning on breeding, no, I ain't going to breed her this time. I think I might breed that brindle bitch, though. I've been thinking about it. But this one I'm going to let set out. She just had a litter of pups not long ago. So I'm going to let her set on out this heat and try to play with her this summer and uh, get to work with her a little bit. She's she's definitely ready, you know. They, when you start to working with them, they get all the attention they could ever fucking want. and They, get, uh, they really get to... Uh, they enjoy it. You know, I think the game dog really enjoy it. They enjoy every aspect of it. The worst part is if they get hurt during the process, you know, but hell, they enjoy that too, the heal up. You know, if you got, you know, take good care of them and all that shit, they eat that shit up. Ready to hunt again as soon as they get their feet under them. But uh, y'all take care. Y'all keep on bulldogging and stay safe.